Well, good morning, people. I think, um, since today is a very special day, but to others it's just a normal day. To me, it's just... something that I wouldn't be expecting to happen. Today is, of course, Valentine's Day, and this is a special edition of the Tenkaichi Falls, because it is Valentine's Day. And, of course, yes, I'm going to be playing some Super Thunder Blade while, we're, while I'm going to be talking about this. So, my thoughts about this, my thoughts about, well, love in general, is that in every relationship, be it boyfriend or girl, boyfriend and or girlfriend it should really it shouldn't just be you know one day you tell somebody n that special someone that you love them you know it shouldn't take one day in a whole month of February just to tell the person that how much you care for them. It should be a, you know, like every day. Like I have a girlfriend, and I always tell her that I love her. And regardless of um, what happens, you know. Regardless of what happens, you know, you always got to tell that person how much they mean to you. Well, really, it doesn't really have to be, it really doesn't have to be, really, it doesn't have to be, you know, it really don't have to be a boyfriend and or girlfriend. I mean, really, if you think about it, it could be your parents, or or your best friend, just those people that, you know, you admire from a distance, or you've known for a while, tell them how much you care. I mean, I know these days that mainly anything dealing with gifts or presents is basically commercial these days. And you know, I mean, I listened to Big Fatty Plus's video about his take on this whole day. How he doesn't like Valentine's Day. To me, well, you know. Valentine's Day is really not all that different. I mean, really, to be quite honest, I mean, it's, this is why I honestly feel about Valentine's Day. It shouldn't be, you know, every... It shouldn't be just one time you tell that person how much you care about them. Which, I, I do agree about that.
I mean, I would tell my mom how much she means to me, how much, how much she means to me being in my life. Even though she had a lot of things going on, she's still my mom and I still support her. Or I tell that old man the same thing. Even if he is a bit of a douche sometimes. He's, you know, it's worth telling, you know. And to me, yeah, that's what's important. To me, that's what's important, you know. You let the people in your life, you know how much you care about them. I mean, whether they are your best friends, your, your family, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't take one day to tell them this, you know. It should be about every day. I mean, really. I mean, really. You know, it shouldn't be about how much, you know, how much. I mean, you already know, they already know how much you care about them. But really. You don't really need to get him a gift. I mean, really, you know, you don't really need to get a gift that, you know. I mean, if you don't really need to get him a gift that, you know, then, you know, it shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, they know you care. Or they better know that you care. I mean, to me, it means a lot knowing that, you know, being told how much I'm thought about, you know, and everything else, you know. When I, when I used to be a teacher, I used to get a lot of Valentine's Day cards. They were from the kids, and of course, you know. I enjoy reading them. To this day, whenever I visit, whenever I visit, that's what usually happens. They usually come by and they usually just come by and Oh, when they see me, oh, it's Mr. Izzy! And yes, I usually get jumped by a mob of little kids. They will either be from second grade or third grade. And cause like, I, like I said, I used to work as a teach. I used to be a teacher for five years. And it tends to grow on you. What I'll probably do after all this is over is drop by one one day and just 
talk about, you know, what being a writer is all about and everything. Give him a little something. Give them a little something to think about. Considering if they want to be authors, should they, when they grow up, or whatnot. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'll do after after this weekend. Just take a day, visit my old job, spend a day with the kids, and that's it. You know, just because, why not? I mean, even though I don't work there anymore, that doesn't mean I don't really care for the kids. After all, I like kids. But, to the matter at hand about, um, Valentine's Day or Singles Awareness Day, I see it as this. You know, don't worry about, don't worry about if you don't have a sweetheart or not. If you do, that's good. And if you don't, that's still good too. There, there are a few things that I do remember, and it kind of makes sense for me to mention this. But yes, when I was in school... I saw a lot of these, um, I saw a lot of these, you know, a lot, and I do mean a lot of couples, teenage couples, just totally making out just for the sheer hell of it. And I think they just did it just to piss people off or something, or they want they want somebody to say something about it or to look or whatever, anything just to get attention. You no, know? they were being their own attention whores when they were doing that. Me personally, I didn't really care. I was too much of, I was too knee deep in my books to actually notice. And even if they did that, it, what was the point of it, you know? It's like, well, enjoy it while it lasts because um considering if you if you're saying, "Oh, we're going to be together forever." Um that's nice, but um things can happen over the years, you know? You might find somebody somebody much better than who you're with now. And I do mean it. You know, you can't just say, oh, I want, uh, you know, you know, we're going to be together forever for a long time. I have to say this. 
it really takes faith to make the whole relationship to work. A faith in each other. It takes a lot of trust. And by all means, it takes a lot of willpower. Because there's always going to be somebody better out there that that can that could say, "Oh, if you were my boyfriend or if you were my girlfriend, I treat you better than than that." then that's so-and-so who's who you're with now. And I say to that, you know, sure. You can say that. But really, you take, you take in consideration how long Take in consideration how long you've been with this person. How long you've been with this person. And what this person means to you. I mean, sincerely means to you. I mean, really. I've been in plenty of relationships before. Usually, I'm the one being dumped. Mainly in my past relationships, I was the one being dumped in. You know, the only time it actually ever happened was that I actually did the dumping was, um, w was with the person, was with the person before Meg. And yes, I went through all the, but I loved her so much and now that I, now that I don't have her in my life, I'm going to die, I'm going to kill myself, uh, you know. But since then, you know, even when I was married, same thing. Well, okay, I take that back. When I was married, it really wasn't the same thing. No, when you're married, you got a whole new thing called fidelity. I do mean fidelity. I mean, the thing was, you know, at the time when I was married, I took um, some courses in learning Japanese. So you can imagine what I was going through at the time. I mean, I basically just wanted a job while I was there. But the only way I could have could have had a job there was I had to know the language. It wasn't about skill or how well I could do physically. It was all about my language.
So I wanted to, I really wanted to get a job and well. I mean, if you think about it, yeah, considering what I had went through for a whole year, I could pretty much say it was, <clears throat> I didn't know what was really going on until I left for a checkup, then came back, and, you know, it was just crazy. But the point is, Valentine's Day shouldn't be one day. It should be every day that you treat this person, whoever it is. Maybe your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, husband, wife. Let them know how much you care. Let them know how much you mean to them. And in return, they'll let you know how much you mean to them. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to have to say about this, about this, because really, you know, it's just that simple. So, yeah, that was, that was it, that's it for uh, Super Thunderblade, and really, I have to say, while I was talking, it's a good game, very good game. So on that note, I am just going to leave my mark on the territory with that and there you go. So this is the Tenkai Ichi of Gaming, Pookie Izzy 7, and this has been Super Thunderblade. And that'll do for my um Valentine's Day special. So I hope you have a good day and always remember to live, love, and learn as much as you can through this life as well as the next. With that, I'm going to call it quits here, and on that note, Tenkai Muso. Later on, folks. <laughs>